Hi, this week's Pasha presents Pasha's Yitro. Like to like, you know, say the first verse so I can bring you up to speed. Vishma um, Yitro, Kohen Midayan, Choten, Moshe, Eight, Ko Asher, Asa, Elohim, La Moshel, Ule Yisrael, Amor, Ki Otsi, Anai, Et Yisrael, Mimitzrayim. So it's to do with the uh, father in law of Moshe. Uh, Yitro. I like to think that this uh, parsha is basically the beginning of uh, the first Academy Awards uh, of uh, Talmudic, sto uh, Talmudic uh, scholars. Um, basically, um, Yitro tells Moshe he has to get a court in session, so to speak, a way of judgment uh, before you know all the Yidden has to go into. Uh, Eretz Yisrael, and before they get the Torah, um, uh, Yitro it says somewhere um, that uh, uh, he wasn't an atheist, but uh, he wasn't a monotheist at the same time. Um, sounds a little contradictory, but uh, let me explain. Basically, um, people still have their little addictions that they have, which is part of uh, bowing down to other idols. Atheists believe in no God. Um, the people that are monotheists believe in one God. So, when uh, you just believe in one God, uh, you're monotheistic and you have faith in God. When you uh, have other addictions that you depend on, little niches that you depend on, that's what he was talking about. And that's why we had to go through the purification system of being in the desert to uh, fully love and understand Hashem of being uh, the true one. And uh, how does this equate to uh, Academy Awards? Uh, basically you got a whole bunch of characters, you got you got Yitro, you got Aaron, you got uh, a whole bunch of other people and uh, Moshe stuck out the most. Uh, you know he spoke to God, he, you know he, he was a leading man, he was the Chumash, uh, uh, five books of Moses, you know everyone says that and uh, you know, he was, he's, he's the leading role in, in the whole of the, the, the five books, the Chumash. And, uh, you know, he gets the award, he goes up the mountain. Uh, the people were just too afraid to do it. I mean, it's, it's kind of scary standing up even in front of camera. Never mind in front of the whole uh, Jewish nation and the whole entire world when God's coming down with thunderbolts and smoke and all this uh, special effects. Um, uh, people got a little bit uh, uh, scared and uh, you know they went for bagels and coffee and uh, sent up Moshe um, where you know he had a chat with God where he usually does and uh, we'll leave it at that um, you know Jews in the, in the bed cafe in the, the coffee house or the I don't know it's in the Netherlands they say something else but uh, we're not into that, and uh, uh, Moshe goes up and does the business of uh, getting the Ten Commandments, getting the award uh, that he that he passes down from generation to generation, uh, the Ten Commandments uh, uh, of the world. And uh, I'd like to leave you with a Shabbat Shalom. If you'd like any, to you know, if you'd like to have any questions um, about this parsha, just. Uh, you know, comment below. Sorry, I hit the wrong side. Uh, comment below. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot of books, uh, which I reference because uh, that's where it all comes from. Uh, and I'd like you to subscribe to the channel. You can do that here, I think, or or here. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, Shabbat Shalom, and uh, see you next week. Shabbat Shalom.